I'm Jen, and you're watching Living Well, Uena Basin, where success is defined by you. I've been hearing a whole lot of buzz lately about the sport of CrossFit. Today, we're getting beyond the couch at CrossFit Avenue, where Mike Williams and some of his athletes are going to show us what it's all about. On Dish by Dish, Liz Edmonds of BYU TV's The Food Nanny will inspire you to make dinner time your family time. And finally, we're going to catch up with TV's biggest loser, Justin Pope, at the Community Center. We're going to chat about his incredible transformation, how he did it his way, and how you too can do it your way. We have a lot of fun stuff to get covered today, so let's get started. Today with Mike Williams. He is the owner and trainer at CrossFit Avenue in Vernal. So Mike, thanks for having me here today. Yeah, thank you for coming. And he's going to teach us a little bit today about uh, CrossFit, about what it is, and about why he enjoys CrossFit. So take it away. Tell us what it is. All right. Well, just a little bit about me. Um, I've been doing CrossFit for about four years. Uh, I've been into fitness for about 10. Um, about 10 years ago, I, I had an accident where I broke my foot and my elbow and my wrist, and I was in a wheelchair for about, well, all summer. And I just, during that time, I thought, hey, I really need to do something. And it was that transition point where most people are in their life where they need to do something. And so for about six years, I just did what typically everybody does, you know, go to the gym and do a little cardio and a little weights. Yeah, kind of the routine thing. So um, after a while, though, I got really tired of that. And the routine was killing me. I was just bored. And um, I had a nephew that was in the Air Force. And he was introduced to CrossFit through the military. And so he introduced me to it and I fell in love with it because it's just, it changes every day. Um, it's something that's functional and it's, it's that the best part is you get results. And so um, for that, about the last four years, we've, we've, um, I've been doing CrossFit and for about the last six months, we've had CrossFit Avenue here open in, in Vernal. Um, my goal and my, my mission as a CrossFit owner is to cultivate a community of, of athletes and just overall better health. One of your students said to me as I was walking in the door today, he said, I know that this sounds cliche, but this changes lives. It really does. So let's see what it's about. Let's let's go see this and All right. show us what you've All got. Right. Yep, let's All right, do it. let's do sounds it. Sounds great. So in CrossFit, we have several priorities and fitness priorities. First, most important, of course, is nutrition. And we teach nutrition classes here. Um, Next is metabolic conditioning, which basically means we're just trying to get our conditioning up all of the time. And there's different metabolic pathways, and we'll teach about that. Um, gymnastics basically means we're just uh, body control exercises, and we'll show you a little bit about what that means. And Olympic lifting. Uh, the, limp the lifting that we do here isn't just to get big, it's to be able to do functional movements. And the Olympic lifters do that. It's, a, it's more dynamic. And of course, then we play sports, and that incorporates everything together, and you tie it all together and go have fun. Okay, so what are you going to show us today? What are we going to learn to do today? Well, today we're going to go through several of these, so let's do it. Let's get started. One of the most functional movements there are is a deadlift, and you saw Dylan doing that. Um, one of the next most functional is the squat, and it's something you use all the time. Um, just to show you a quick demo, just want to come straight down, straight back up and rack it. And Jen, we've got Jen over here with PVC pipe and this is usually how we start with most people just so we can make sure that we get the mechanics right. So Jen, go ahead and get in position there and what we're looking for is her feet are in the right position, her back straight through the whole movement and she just straight down and straight back up. You want me to pick a spot on the ceiling? Yep, focus straight ahead. There you go and just straight down and she's gonna hold that just right where her nape her crease and her hip is the same as her knee. Come back up, and that's exactly how you do it. Great job. Okay, so we're over here at the pull-up bar, and we've got Amber doing some pull-ups. Mm -hmm. what, what is she doing with the band here? Okay, one of the most important gymnastics moves that we do is a pull-up, and as you can see, she has assistance bands here, and she's been coming for about two weeks. Okay, and she's already doing bands with, or I'm sorry, pull-ups with the bands. Okay, um, I'd like to introduce you to um, Billy Cook. She's one of our trainers here at CrossFit Avenue. 
And she has been here for about five months and she's already doing pull-ups without any assistant bands. In fact, today she did 100 on, on her own. So. But you did start with assisted bands, so it's a good way to learn. Three of them. Show us. Now, we do different types of pull-ups here. You can do strict. Um, she's doing kind of a butterfly type pull-up, and there's also kipping. So there's different styles of, of ways you can do these. So, great job, Billy. So we've learned a little bit about the fundamentals of CrossFit. So Mike, what, what do you want to leave our viewers with? What's the most important thing you want them to take away from watching this today? I'd say the most important thing, and probably the thing I've learned the most uh, after opening this, is everyone has a fear of, of failure. And the thing that we want here at CrossFit Avenue is to make sure that everyone succeeds. And the best way to do that is to come down and work out with the trainer. We don't care what your fitness level is, we just want you to be able to improve. So come down and, and learn what you can do and overcome those fears. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys I had a great time out here today. If you are in a fitness rut, you just wanna try something new, come check out CrossFit Avenue, give Mike a call, he'll hook you up with some fun stuff. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I'm here with Liz Edmonds, the food nanny. She has a show on BYU TV. Yes. Thank Welcome. you for having me. Thank you for coming. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your show, Liz. What do you do? Well, I am out rescuing families all over the world, actually. <laughs> it's been so fun. My main passion in life and what I'm really doing is trying to get people back to the dinner table, trying to get them to understand that it's probably the most important thing you'll do in the whole day for your family is to get them back to the dinner table. I believe that every child deserves a place to be at dinner. I believe that as adults, we deserve that as well. Yeah. But in order to make that happen, oftentimes we have to have a plan. And that's where I come in. Okay. I have the perfect plan. Tell us about your plan. Okay. I've been living it um, for over 30 years. I've actually been putting dinner on the table for my family about 41 years. But over 30 years ago, I came with, with a great plan that has really turned into a lifestyle. And now my own kids are living it. And what it is basically is I say to cook five nights a week, take two days off. I usually planned for seven because I never knew if we were going to go out right. to eat. I never knew if somebody was going to get sick or never knew if I had the money to go out. Life happens. Yes. So, <laughs> so I planned for seven. But oftentimes nowadays we kind of know if we're going to be going out or what nights a week are our craziest that maybe we can't really logistically eat dinner at home that night. But basically my plan is a two week meal plan with a great variety of food. It's comfort food night on Monday, Tuesday is Italian night, Wednesday is fish, meatless or breakfast night, Thursday is Mexican night, Friday is pizza night, Saturday is grill night, and Sunday is tradition day. So we have a huge variety there. A huge variety. So there's no reason to get bored, there's, yeah. It kept, something for everybody yes, in the family. Yes, and it kept me going. And as you as you plan your menu, it's not like you're eating the same Italian dish every week or the same Mexican dish every week. I have many dishes for each night, including um, beef and you know whatever night it is, yeah. chicken on whatever night it is, no meat at all on whatever night it is. Okay. And so as you plan your meals, you're creating this really healthy lifestyle with a variety of food. So organization's gotta be a really big key in making that happen. It is, if you'll just sit down once every two weeks, take 10 minutes, do your grocery list at the same time, go shopping, come home, you've only made one main shopping trip in two weeks. You'll have to go back for, for maybe staples, tomato right. or, or, a little, or some more milk, but really, what doesn't last two weeks? I would love to learn how to shop once every two weeks. I'm a big shopper. I find myself at the grocery store at least once a week for a big shop and sometimes two or three times during the week for little things that I forgot because I don't have the organizational skills to make it through the full week. Exactly. The hardest part for most moms or dads when they get home from work, it's four or five at night or six at night and right. it's too late so to figure out what to cook. So if you don't have a plan, that's where you get stuck. Yes. And so you end up 
getting frustrated because you you can't figure out what to cook. Even if you've got a, a fridge full of food, yep. you still can't decide because the kids need homework done and they've got projects to do. So you load them back up and you put them in the car and you go out for fast food. But if all the food is in the house, and you know what recipe you're cooking, if you're late, the kids can get started or your husband can get started. Or if you're a single mom, the kids can help out. Or single dad, same thing. Right. But the main thing is everything is there. So when you do get home, you can switch gears and sort of oh, let down your guard. Let that stress be gone from, from meal time. Get into the kitchen, so, okay. start working with the food that you've got and get those smells coming and that feeling and of that sitting feeling, down with your family yes. yes which is really really important and yes. I'm, I really commend you for trying to bring back the meal time to family because I think that's important I try to do that at least three to four times a week I'm not, you. not as good as I should be at it but I'm really really working on that because I know how important that is to living a nice healthy lifestyle so thank you for sharing that with us and let everyone know where we can find we can find your books and we can we can learn more about you online Go to thefoodnanny.com. Okay. I am, I'm actually coming out with a blog next week. Oh, good. Um, and I'm on Facebook. Okay. But you can get my book, thefoodnanny.com. You can get it at most Deseret bookstores. I know Gail's here in town. Okay. Carries my book. Amazon. Um, lots and lots of places. Okay. Well, I look forward to checking that stuff out. And you guys, make sure you jump on those places that she told you about. And uh, check our Facebook page, too, because I'll put some links on there. So thank you so much. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate you having me here. Such a good thank you. doll. Thank you. Thanks. Now for the Anadarko Health and Safety Tip of the Week. If you work at a computer a lot, rotate your wrists five times clockwise and five times counterclockwise every hour. This will help eliminate stiff wrists and other wrist and joint problems later. Justin Pope of NBC's The Biggest Loser. He was on season 11, correct? Correct. So tell us about your experience. Uh, it was an experience of a lifetime, really. I uh, had the opportunity to uh, go there and uh, learn a lot about you know, diet, exercise, um, about your life, personal, you know, all those kind of things. Is, you know, 100% it changes everything about you. I, t I tell people all the time, I'm like, you know, you're a different person. Not only do you look different, act different but even sometimes your personal thoughts are just different you're like wow I never thought like that before and, and you know I never acted like that. What did it take to get to the point that you actually contacted the show? To, I mean what, what transpired in you where you wanted to make that change? You know I, I kind of always told myself a lie because you know I was big and I knew I was overweight but I didn't I didn't ever consider myself obese or fat because you know I was active I could crawl in and out of a hole I worked all day long I could jump I could run you know I could do all those things you know even functionally at 400 pounds, I was, I felt like I was fine, you know. It, when, when I got the show, I figured out that I was telling myself a lie, and I really wasn't as active or as functional as I thought I was, you know. And for me, probably the best experience is, you know, the very first workout. First day, we were dragging bags back and forth, and somebody passed out, and everybody was, you know, tending to them, and I was at the other end of the gym, and I'm, and I'm, uh, and I, I'm doing my deal, and I look over, and they're taking care of them, like, mm, nobody's watching me. And so I just kind of, you know, I was going through the motions, not really doing what I should be doing. Does it matter? Does it matter that somebody's watching you or isn't? You know, when, when are you going to grow up? And, and from, that, from that moment on, you know, everything about me changed. I, I wanted to work out until I passed out. I wanted to be that person. So, I mean, basically what you took away from it was you have... Everybody, I think, has the power to make the change, but you have to pull that from within you and decide to do yeah. it. I, I really feel like it was a life lesson for me, you know. It you, 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 change, you, you change the way you interact with your family. You change the way you interact with your job, the way you are with your job, you know, the type of person you are, you know. You, you can become who you want to be, you know, you, education all the way through. Well, it was so nice to talk to you, and I'm so glad that you were here with us today. So take a lesson from Justin here. <laughs> And make the change. Change your life. You can do it. I had a really great time learning from all the guests on today's show. If you want to be part of the fun, join us on our Facebook page, Uana Basin Living Well. I want you guys to share with me what's going on out there. Let us come out and see what you're doing to live well. Our first 10 followers will get a day pass to the community center. 
and our 100th fan will get a free golf pass to Dinoland Golf Course for the day. And remember to watch the show on cable channel 6 and in high definition channel 706. You can also find viewing schedules on vtvchannel6.com and stream episodes at strata.tv. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, live well Uena Basin.